Here's Chief Meteorologist Chris Boone. We saw some pretty average temperatures across the area for the middle of September. Again, we topped out at 91 this afternoon. That's pretty close to average. Normally, we'd be seeing those afternoon highs in the low 90s. As we go through the rest of this week, we're actually going to see that average high drop by the degree. We'll get down into the 80s. We're going to be continuing that trend of downward average highs as we go through the next couple of days. You see those showers and storms that we saw out in West Texas. Again, kind of moving in towards Texas Panhandle. Actually seeing a second wave of some of those showers and storms moving in towards the Lubbock area just to the northwest of us. And that first line again that we were kind of keeping an eye on, that has since fizzled out as it kind of made its way in towards the Concho Valley. So starting to see it dissipate a little bit Bit more and more still hanging on to some lingering showers just to the south of Fort Stockton but otherwise looking at just that increased cloud coverage so likely staying dry as we continue in towards the evening hours and into overnight as well already down into the upper 70s 79 degrees right now in downtown San Angelo those dew points in the upper 50s winds have died down as well again we were seeing them gusting up to 20 miles per hour at times during the afternoon hours once we got past sunset, though, everything started to calm down a bit, down to 5 miles per hour and seeing those calmer conditions across the area and still seeing those temperatures in the 70s. 77 for Sonora, Ozona, as well as Big Lake. We have one or a couple of 80s on the map, Ballinger, as well as Robert Lee, both at exactly 80 degrees. And those winds back down into the single digits or calm for much of the area. It's not seeing those breezier conditions, though, as we go into tomorrow, in the late morning hours, early afternoon, we'll see those winds pick right back up. Could be a little bit gusty. Your online learning day forecast. Again, this is pretty surprising. Online learning day actually set back in 2016, so long before COVID. But we'll see those temperatures kind of warm up in towards the afternoon hours into the mid 80s by lunchtime, back up into the low 90s. But we'll see the winds really start to pick up between lunch and then towards 4 p.m. And as we get closer towards sunset, we see those winds kind of die back down. Tonight, temperatures going down into the mid 60s across the area. So a pretty comfortable night in store. And then for your tomorrow, again, temperatures getting into the up lower 90s, 93. So another hot and humid day across the area. Could be seeing a few clouds, though, again, a little bit more sunshine across the area. Those winds staying out of the south. No major changes with that. We'll take a bit of a break as we get in towards the evening and overnight hours. And then for Friday, again, another round of some gusty conditions. Could see some gusts up to 20 miles per hour, 25 at the max. And again, we'll see them die right back down as we get in towards the evening hours. And then we'll see a fairly quiet pattern as we start to head in towards your weekend and even going in towards next week. We see this ridge of high pressure kind of rebuild that upper level high. That really sets over for much of the southern plains, much of Texas as well. Again, that dome of high pressure, it's very similar to what we'd seen keeping us dry for much of the summer months. So usually it takes about a week or two for these blocking patterns to really start to weaken and move off. And until it does, well, it's going to keep those cooler temperatures well off towards the west. Those cooler temperatures as well as those rain chances. That's what we'll be waiting for next week as we get into the later parts. But unfortunately, no rain expected for the next seven days. We'll be seeing a warming trend as we finish up the week with those breezy conditions. Winds out of the south. It's going to increase those temperatures back into the upper 90s as we head into next week. And those overnight lows also increasing, only dropping down into the low 70s to cool off.